Well, here in Germany, a video has gone viral showing Chancellor Olaf Scholz in a rare outburst of anger, shouting at protesters who attacked his government's military support of Ukraine. Scholz was at a gathering of his party near Berlin when a group of protesters disrupted his speech, shouting slogans like, make peace without weapons, and calling Scholz a warmonger. We can have a quick listen now to some of the Chancellor's impassioned response. Kriegstreiber! Kriegstreiber is Putin! He is with 200,000 soldiers in Ukraine engaged! He has much more than that to mobilize! He has the life of his own citizens risked, while he calls freedom without weapons. Has Putin unbelievably many Panzer together? Raketen, Marschflugkörper! All right, that was the German Chancellor there, and DW political correspondent Benjamin Alvarez Gruber is in the studio with me to discuss this. Benjamin, this is um, not really the kind of Olaf Scholz that most of us uh, are familiar with. He's generally known as being rather subdued. Um, what happened there? That's right. He's rather known to be really calm when he speaks. For many people, almost too calm. So to get a message uh, through. Uh, this happened in Falkensee, close to Berlin, in Brandenburg, during an event, a Europe event of the Social Democrats of his party. And people started shouting at him even before he went on stage. So he was standing there, it was the introduction, and they started saying um, that peace is needed, that he should go away, that he should leave. And then he pressed these people also saying that it is important that the warmonger is not Olaf Scholz, but Vladimir Putin, what we just heard there. But it also shows that the German society is still divided on some topics, especially when it comes to weapons. There is a new poll that came out a few days ago that shows that a majority of people is still against Germany sending warplanes, sending German warplanes to Ukraine, something that the Ukrainian side has demanded, asking Germany to join this called fighter jet coalition. Germany does not have this F-15 or F-16, but Eurofighter Typhoon, so a majority is still against it, having similar uh, positions to the one that we just heard saying that Germany should not be involved even further with this war. Um, there was another poll, Benjamin, just about the support um, that Olaf Scholz's party has at the moment, as as, along with the other uh, political parties in Germany. And that's also a very interesting development. Why don't we just have a quick look at the latest poll numbers? Uh, because as you can see here, um, the Chancellor, Social Democrats, are currently at 19% support and the coalition partners, the Greens and the business-friendly FDP at 13 and 9% respectively. But then we see a lot of very strong support um, for the opposition, the Christian Democrats, uh, far ahead at 27%. But most notable is that the far-right AFD party is polling now at 19%. That's as strong as the Chancellor's party. And Benjamin, that is a first in German politics, isn't it? It is, but this is not a new development. The far-right AFD party has been in an uproar for weeks. Their methods are usually confrontational, attacking uh, the government, so the three government parties, the Social Democrats, the pro-business FDP party and the Greens, attacking them when it comes to migration, saying that Germany does not need more skilled uh, labor, people coming to Germany, but needs to close its borders, and actually attacking them a lot when it comes to proposals on heating, and on climate change. They have been very, very strong attacking the Green Party, attacking the leaders of the Green Party. And when it comes to Ukraine and when it comes to um, Germany's and also Europeans' involvement with sending weapons, they also said that Germany needs to support these peace talks and not send any more weapons. So quite similar, saying it differently to the people that we just saw there in the video and heard uh, attacking the German chancellor, but having pretty similar ideas of saying that Germany should support peace talks and not send any more weapons to Ukraine. Yeah, complicated situation indeed. Still a lot of debate in Germany. Benjamin Alvarez Gruber, thank you so much for your analysis.